Hello, hello and welcome to CEP 817, uh, Learning Technology by Design. I want to introduce to you the design team. Uh, my name is Purnia Mishra. I'm a professor um, of educational psychology and educational technology at Michigan State University. And along with me is John Good, who's a doctoral student in the same department. Um, in CEP 817, the website for the course, which you should know if you're seeing this video, um, is punyamishra.com slash CEP817. All the action in the course will be happening at this website. So make sure to bookmark the site and, and come back there. You should have also received in the email information about login, how to log into the website, your login and your password. Please remember to change your password once you've logged in for the first time. Um, to get in touch with the instructors, you can of course send us email to our MSU addresses, but this might be a better email address to get in touch with us because this makes sure that both of us get the email. Um, it's CEP817instructor at gmail.com. Now you may wonder what CEP817 is about. CEP817 is about design. Now the interesting thing about the word design is that you can see it both as a noun and as a verb. So when you think about it as a noun, you can think of it as the design of an iPhone, design of a television, design of some service, um, such as you know if you go to the bank um, and what kind of you know the, the process that you go through, uh, if you want to cash a check or whatever it may be, is also something that is design. Um, however, what we want to think about design is more like a verb. For us, design is a process. It's a it's a sequence of steps that we think through, that we plan as we move forward. And, and at the end of it, it's a process of going from a thought, something that's in your head, an idea that's in your head, to a thing, to something that we create, whether it's a process, it's a lesson plan, uh, whether it's a, a TV program or a poem, right? Um, in this case, we sort of say that it is a process of going from thing one to thing two, thing one and thing two. Well, that's, uh, be prepared for uh, bad jokes like this as we go on through the semester. Um, design lies at the junction of many disciplines. Of course, technology and the artifacts that we have around us plays a very important role. As important a role is that of psychology, which is the intentions of users, how we approach um, the tools and technologies that we work with. Um, of course, there is an artistic element to it. There is a scientific element to it. And of course, there is creativity. So all of these things sort of come together. Now, what we are interested in, most of us in this class, uh, being, in ed being educators, are interested how these ideas of science and technology and psychology, creative and art, creativity and art come together in education. So what is the role uh, of design in education and particularly educational technology, which, we'll be, uh, which we will be talking about through the semester. Um, clearly, there's a lot that we have to talk about. So we'll be covering a lot of ground. I don't want this video to be too long because there's a, we have some interesting assignments and other things waiting for you to do right away. So jump in. Um, we want you to have fun. Of course, we want there will be a lot of work. Uh, we want you to be engaged. We want you to be challenged. But we also want you to have a good time as you're doing this. Uh, we want to thank you for uh, joining us in this ride. And we look forward to a wonderful uh, semester coming up. So you know where to find us, um, the website, as well as the email address. So take care, and we'll talk to you soon.